what we're working on is the LSM 1003 revision for goal 1 and 3. Now we have a revision paper already up, already online, but I wanted to go through the questions with you very clearly so that everybody understands exactly what is required for this test. Now goal 1 and goal 3 are very similar with many similar formulas. You will have a formula sheet on the test and so you can utilize that. To make things simpler, I'm, sim I'm going to write the formulas down for you as we go through the questions. Number one, a washer listed originally at 1,800 dirhams was sold for 1,200 dirhams during a clearance sale. What was the rate of discount? So what we've got is we've got originally, meaning this is our B, our base amount. And it was sold for 1,200. So this is the new amount and we're looking for the rate. When we're looking for the rate, the formula is the rate equals the change, in this case 1,800 divi minus 1,200 divided by the original amount, so 1,800. So we go ahead and we're going to put this in the calculator exactly as we see it. Now, when you look at your calculator, your calculator should be set to the normal thing. So it needs to be D and math. Now, if for some reason your calculator is messed up or it's not working the way that it should, all you have to do is hit Shift 9 and clear all, number 3, in order to reset it. So we're going to put this in the calculator exactly as we see it. We hit the fraction key. And we're going to go ahead and do 1,800 minus 1,200 over 1,800. And we get 1 third. Now, we're not going to leave the rate like this, so we do need to actually multiply by 100 to turn it into a percent. But now we get 100 over 3. To make it into a decimal, you hit the SD button, and as you can see, we get 33.33%. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. This was multiplied by 100 and it gave us 33.33%. Okay, now moving on to question two. The final price of a phone after a discount of 16 and two thirds percent is 450. What was the original price? So we're looking for B and it was given in and R. Now the formula for the original price is B equals in over one plus or minus the rate. So we need to actually go ahead and plug this in. In was 450 and we're going to divide by the discount, so one minus 16 and two thirds percent. Now, when we get our calculator and do this, you need to be very, very careful with the way that you approach it. So we'll clear out what we just did. Make sure that this is nice and visual. Here, I'll go ahead and move it over here. That way you can see the calculator. All right, so we're going to once again make a fraction. 450 goes on top. Now, one minus, and we have 16 and 2 thirds. So we have a mixed number. We need to do shift fraction, and you see how it comes up with these three squares. Now we can hit 16 and 2 thirds. And don't forget afterwards, you need to move it to the side and hit percent. Now once you hit equals, you get the answer 540. So the original price of the phone was 540 dirhams. Okay, last question for this page. A stationary store buys calculators for 60 dirhams each and sells them for 95 each. What is the markup? Okay, so the buying cost is 60 dirhams and the selling price is 95. So the formula for markup is the selling price minus the buying cost. In other words, 95 minus 60 is 35 dirhams. Okay, so that was A. Next, B. 
what is the markup as a percentage of the buying cost? Now, whenever you see as a percentage, that means you're going to be making a fraction because we're looking for a rate. Whatever comes first goes on top, and whatever comes second goes on bottom. So M over BC times 100. Now we found our M was 35. Our buying cost from the problem is 60, and we have to multiply by 100. So we get out our calculator, go ahead and clear it from the last one. Fraction, 35 over 60 times 100. We have to hit SD to make it into a number, and we get 58.33. We just have to put the percent sign to be finished. And finally, the last question for this page. What is the rate of margin based on the selling price? Okay, so it's got some different words, but the idea is the same. The rate is our percentage rate. Margin goes on top based on the selling price, meaning our selling price is going to be our base. To make it a percentage, we have to multiply it by 100. So this would be 35 over 95 times 100. Go ahead and put that in our calculators. 35 over 95 times 100. We hit equals and we get that the rate is 36.84%. The 4 stays the same because it's followed by a 2.